What's up everyone, it's Hagvar the Mad, and today we're playing a Azorius Walls deck in Historic. So uh, if you've been paying attention at all to the uh, to the current meta uh, with Historic, um, you've probably seen this deck. Um, ever since Cherix, the Raging Isle, was printed in Zendikar Rising, uh, people have been playing around with various different versions of this deck. Um, this is mine, and... Uh, I'll go through it. Um, basically, the idea for this deck is that we're going to play walls. You know, uh, creatures with high toughness, and then we're going to drop a high alert or a Huatli, the Sun's Heart, um, which both allow us to assign combat damage equal to toughness rather than power. Um, and then we're just going to run through them so uh to do that we have three aegis turtles aegis aegis uh four wall of ruins four nyx fleece ram uh two fey of wishes uh four shimmer possibilities three tetsuku umazawa fugitive um this is a very key card um its ability allows uh, creatures we control with power or toughness one, or power or toughness one or less to go unblocked. So even if we do have the high alert and the Huatli out, the creatures still the creatures uh, original toughness still counts. So we do get to uh, you know send them in, and they can't really do anything about it. We have uh, two crashing drawbridges to uh, give our creatures haste. Uh, we have four high alerts. Uh, this is... We have four high alerts and only three Huatlis. Uh, you want more high alerts because um, we do run a fair amount of things with Defender. Um, well, actually I think just crashing drawbridge and wall of ruins. But uh, high alert gets rid of Defender as well as allowing us to assign combat damage with uh, toughness. So it's a little bit better. Uh, Watley, um, Watley is there for uh, everything else, essentially. Um, plus, the life gain with Watley can really uh, can really save us in a lot of situations if uh, we're up against like burn or something. Obviously, we want to gain life. Uh, we have three settle the wreckage. Um, sometimes, in a very goblin heavy uh, meta, you really just need to be able to exile everything that's attacking you. So that's why we have three settle the wreckages. We have four Cherix the Raising Isle. So, <clears throat> apart from being a zero seventeen for four. Um, it does have a couple other abilities, uh, particularly spells that target Cherix, uh, cost two more to cast, uh, spells our opponents cast, sorry. And, um, in a pinch, his, uh, his three cost activated ability can, uh, can be really nice. Um, obviously, you know, if we're getting attacked into and we really need to kill something if we have a few islands out and we just pay that um you know Cherix killing them is pretty ideal <laughs> we have six planes uh one castle vantress uh nine islands four glacial fortresses four hallowed fountains for our uh, mana base it's pretty straightforward and, um, since we are running Fae of Wishes, we do have a sideboard. <clears throat> now, I did decide to run Fae of Wishes. Uh, one, because it has, it's a two cost for four, with four toughness and flying. So, it's, you know, got a decent amount of evasion. But also, it allowed me to, uh, sort of put together, uh, a sideboard that, you know, might come in handy. Um... So we have two Tormod's Crypt to exile our opponent's uh, graveyards if they're doing any sort of resurrection uh, plays. We have two Shadow Spears uh, just for the Trample and the Life Link. 
Um, obviously, if we can throw one of these on Cherix, um, even if we don't have the uh, Tetsuku out, uh, you know, we're still getting damage through. We have four Sorcerer's Spyglasses. Again, we're playing in Historic, so there's quite a bit of uh, Planeswalkers and stuff that we just need to be able to uh, stop. We have uh, two Clear the Mines, in case we're getting milled. Uh, four Wrath of Gods, just, you know, good board wipe. And one The Immortal Sun, in case we're up against like a Super Friends deck list or something. But yeah, uh, this is the deck. We'll, uh, yeah, save an accident. We'll hop in and play some. I've been playing with it, uh, I've been playing with this deck for about a week now, and, uh, it's super fun. Just the, uh, what well, you can get it, with a good draw, you can get, uh, you can get, like, a turn three, turn four win, which is, you know, super nice. We'll keep this. And we'll shock here, just so we can scry. And we definitely want that. Yeah. So, you know, I will shock for the scry. I wouldn't have shocked for the uh, turtle. And it looks like we're up against goblins, so... The cell of the wreckage is looking pretty good. Alright. Play this tapped. Play the turtle. All right, and pass the turn. All right, so the good thing is that it's hard for them to pick at us, but obviously with goblins, especially with him already having the Skirk Prospector out, you know, as long as he's creating tokens and generating value that way, um, you know, we're going to be pretty hard up. So let's play the high alert, and we'll see if he wants to take 9 damage. Now this may be a bit of, a bit of a mistake. Like I said, he does already have the Skirk Prospector out. So depending on how much he drops on the board right now, um, well, that can be the difference. And winning or not, winning or not. But uh, we will have the uh, gla or the settle the wreckage open next turn. Yeah, you got it. So he's making tokens. He has currently four mana to work with. Let's see what he wants to do. So it looks like he's gonna sack these two for something. At least he's hovering them. So. Yep, yep, the Chieftain's really nice here. But unfortunately, the Chieftain itself... So, everything's gonna have haste. He can ascend, he can probably drop the, uh... Whatever his name is, the Big Daddy Goblin. We're going to hold up, settle the wreckage here. We've got to. But we are going to send in send in the squad. See if he wants to make any trades. Nope. Alright. In turn. See what he does. Yep. Do we see the boy? That's the... Uh, Question. I can't remember what his name is. It starts with an M. Yeah, Muxus. So we do see Muxus. Sure. Yeah, you got it. Uh huh. Is he going to attack? Of course he is. That's nowhere near even lethal, is it? Sure, let's see how much it is. 10, uh, 15, that would be lethal. This is why we have the set of the wreckage, boys. If you're running white and you're playing historic, 
I don't see why you wouldn't be playing him. He's going to get a lot of mana here, but unfortunately, it's not enough. Anyway, let's just swing in. All right. <laughs> there we go. All right. That was a pretty good uh, game one. We got to see goblins. Um, we got to see why Settler Wreckage is great and historic. I'm pretty happy about it. I would have liked to have dropped the Cherix, but, you know. I wanted to make super sure that we weren't going to die to the Muxus. Because I've seen them... Uh, if they get lucky with hitting those Skirk Prospectors off the Muxus, I've seen them just chain into, uh, you know, playing two or three Muxuses uh, in one turn there and uh, completely overwhelming the board. So, you know, you got to be cautious. But uh, we'll see if we can get it out this turn. So this is not it. No creatures, big problems. We'll keep this, and we're unfortunately going to drop the Cherix again. We're dropping the Cherix because we have a high likelihood of uh, drawing it again, and uh, Tetsuku is so much more clutch. We're looking for land here. It's got to be land. Shimmer possibility is essentially land. All right, let's pull an island. All right, so we've got the high alert this turn, and then we'll drop the uh, Tetsuko and the Aegis Turtle next turn. Or... Yeah, we'll drop the high alert now. Um, he's tapped right now with the uh, blue source, so. Uh oh. Yep. Saw that. Kind of saw that one coming. So let's. Let's just get everything ready. And hope we go. Hope we draw into a Huatli or something. And he's playing a four color deck. Wonder what that is. Rhythm of the Wild. Huh. Hey. Just what we wanted. This power ought to be shared. We'll go ahead and activate it. Heal. He can't do anything about that damage. Uh, we can block for the Huatli. Um and that's lethal next turn unless he board wipes us. Or he gets rid of uh, Watley. Let's see what he wants to do. Or Tetsuko. So he's got options. Let's see if he's got another one of the deputy of detentions. I really, uh... I always thought deputy of detention was an underplayed card. I uh, would run it... And a lot of sideboards I used to have whenever I'd play, uh, whenever I'd play Paper Magic. It's not a, uh, I don't know, I just, I just feel like people overlooked it a lot. Yep, he did the math there. Alright, cool. And that's pretty much how walls go. <laughs> You get a lot of uh, a lot of pretty easy wins. Um, this is a again. It's a very uh, it's a very kind of cheap strategy. Um, 
I think a lot of people in the historic queue are probably frustrated with how many times they played walls, especially in the past, you know, week or so. I've certainly done a few mirror matches while playing with this deck. Um, I think all the uh, bigger YouTube channels have essentially done this deck at least once. But yeah, we can keep this. This is pretty good curve. We Aegis Turtle Tetsuku into Hawatli, so yeah, pretty good. Alright, see what they got for us. Is this going to be like a uh, Niv-Mizzet or something? That'll be fun. Send them a message. We're coming for your face. Next turn, you've got it. Dora at the perfect pet, yep. Pretty good. It's not exactly wildly good. I would have probably left open for counter magic there. So we want our Hwatley to live, so we're not going to minus three it right now. Uh, we're going to make him essentially sp spend as much as he can. Yeah, you got it. To try to stop this from happening. Another Dorat. Sure. You accomplish nothing. Right, so we play the Ram. Um He's just gonna hit the Watley next turn, but we're still not gonna activate it. And let's see if we can find a high alert or yeah, we got it. Alright, in turn, see what he does. If he's smart, he'll leave open counter magic here and a, a blocker. Yep. I meant for other things. Okay. Let's play the island. I kind of want to take this turn off and go wish for something. Yeah. I wanted to draw, draw out that counter spell. No attacks. It's no point. Yeah, you got it. All right. So, here's hoping he doesn't have a negate. Or any other counter spell. Ah, good game. This is where he like bounces something. Nope, we got it, cool. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I will always uh, throw a granted <laughs> for uh, that win. I mean, you, you've essentially got to uh, counter the granted if you see it happening because you don't know what they're going to go get. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah. Archon of Absolution, sure. All right, let's keep on going. All right, so we've got a historic deck today. Um, I'll probably be uploading a ghoul deck for standard tomorrow. Um, I'm debating on, well, hmm.
we'll keep it. Yeah, we'll keep that. Okay. Yeah, I'm debating. I've got two ghoul decks for standard. Um, I've got a uh, ghoul landfall and a by Huatli. I was very sad. Should have kept the hand. Yep. Alrighty. We'll play the ram. But yeah, I've got a uh, Gruel Landfall and a uh, Gruel Great Hinge deck. Um, you'll see both of them eventually. I want to kind of stagger them if I'm going to do them, so I'll probably do the Gruel Landfall deck. Sure. Um, I'm more interested in finding something. She oh, fuck. Well, I'm an idiot. That was so dumb. That was so, that was so stupid. Oh my God, I can't believe I did that. We'll, uh, we'll slow down on making our choices next time. I uh, misclicked and took the cell of the wreckage. Spawn of Mayhem. Yeah, you got it. Past turn. Yep. What would you like to do? Have a have a swamp friend. <laughs> Seems like kind of a waste for a set of the wreckage, but you know he's been slow about everything else, so sure. So if I drop this, I can just perpetually block the obliterator because this will do no damage to it. He's probably figured that out. He's got a, yeah, murder Rider. Sure, he got it. Uh, I feel like we're just gonna lose to this, and it's all because I uh, misclicked on that. Uh, misclicked on that high alert, but you know, we'll see what we see. Pass the turn. See what he wants to do. One thing is, is he's kind of flooding, so. Let's see if I can get him to pump the knight. Nope. Alright. He, uh, caught me on that one. Which is fine. He'll drop, probably drop the murderous rider here, so he has something on board. I would imagine anyway, I would. Or no, he can draw. Sure. Yep. Alright. 
it. More land. Pretty nice. You've got it. Sure. Sure. Okay. So none of that is super helpful. I'm going to take the Tetsuko and just hold on to it this time. There's no reason to burn the removal on it. You got it. Take one damage. <sighs> yep. Okay, Knight of Ebon Legion, you've got it. Now if we can hit the... Sure, you've got it. Sure. I'm afraid that's probably it. Let's see what he does. Makes sense. Yep. That's a dead drawbridge. Down to five. Okay. What do we got for mana? One, two, three, four, five. So. <laughs> unfortunately. It's not really anything we, more we can do here than this. He goes to one, and then he just straight up wins. So, GG. This game probably would have went different if um, I hadn't made that missed click. We lost all of our uh, pressure as soon as I did that. So, uh, eh, it is what it is. But yeah. Uh, that's the deck like I said it's pretty fun um, but yeah thanks for watching uh, please like subscribe and uh, I'll see you